Welcome back to Alkaline TV. This is Douglas Dennis, the Alkaline Chef. Today we're making gingerbread cake with whipped coconut cream. This is alkaline and vegan and delicious. Here we go. First you're going to take the coconut cream and you want to refrigerate this so that it separates and you want the thickest part. And this, I have a link in the description. This is the really thick coconut cream in a carton. Then you whisk it by hand as fast as you can, or if you have an electric mixer, you can use that and use the whisk setting until it is fluffy as you can get it. Then you want to add about a fourth of a cup, well, we probably only used half of that, about an eighth of a cup of date sugar. Just want it to be slightly sweetened. Now this is very thick, so we're gonna whip it some more. You can add some liquid, we added a little bit of coconut milk, you could add a little coconut water if it's too thick. Time lapse. All right, that's looking pretty good. Mmm, nice and sweet, nice and creamy. One last time for good luck. And now here we go with our cake. We're gonna start with half of a cup of avocado oil. You could use grapeseed oil if you don't have any. Half of a cup of agave nectar. Well, almost half of a cup. A heaping tablespoon of chickpea flour. It's also called garbanzo flour or gram flour. Blend this together till it's nice and smooth. And we're gonna sift our dry ingredients. Accidentally, because I was filming and not paying attention, I dripped the date syrup all over the dry ingredients. Oh well. One cup of date syrup. Blend that together. This is a cup of spelt flour and a half cup of rye flour. A heaping teaspoon of ginger powder and a fourth of a teaspoon, excuse me, a half of a teaspoon of clove powder and a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract went into the wet ingredients. Now we're just gonna sift this until it's nice and fluffy. And you're gonna pour this in here one third at a time and mix it up in between. You don't wanna over mix it, so once it's mixed, then you're just gonna pour the next bit in. And then once that's mixed, the final amount. And I forgot the half teaspoon of sea salt, but I added it in in a minute. There you go, make sure you clean all the edges off. And now there's the half teaspoon of sea salt. Not too late. And one cup of boiling water, or very hot water. I had boiled that and then it had been sitting there. 
blend this together until smooth and then that is your cake batter very easy now I just simply ripped a size of parchment paper the size of my pen which is a 9x9 nine nine, I believe and that's it I poured it right in easy does it make sure to use the rubber scraper to clean out all of those precious bits <laughs> and smooth out the top shake it back and forth gently to make sure it's all settled and then just put it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit this took about 45 minutes so it starts cracking just a little bit on top. Mm, we're gonna stick something down into it to make sure it's done. And there you have it, gingerbread cake. Sweet, spicy, holiday cheer. <laughs> now I put some of that whipped cream in a little bag and then cut the corner, but it melted instantly on the hot cake. So if your cake is chilled, then this will work. Otherwise, you should put the cream next to it on the plate. And the whipped cream is a must for this cake because it is very flavorful. The cream just makes it, mmm. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you have any suggestions for the next recipe video, let me know as well. Looking forward to the next live question and answer. If you want to completely change your life around and go alkaline, there's a link at the bottom of the description and you can get a free consultation. See you in the next video. Peace.